So this is the range of class five. Um, most of class fives are all gonna come apart the same way. Obviously in a three group versus a two group, we'll have some more screws, especially on the top. So uh, if you're just wanting to remove the side panels, uh, there's gonna be uh, four screws, two of them, you're gonna completely take out these two and we will go ahead and do that because we're gonna remove the top too. So to remove the top, you have to remove these two. And then of course, you will have to get at your, your drain tray here. Remove the rubber protector. And there are two screws right here. These just need to be loosened. And now your side panel can move off to the side and then uh, up from the back. So there's a clip right here that's going right into the side here. So this side, we have access to our pump and our pump motor. Uh, however, you cannot adjust your pump pressure from here anymore. As you see, they have flipped the pump motor around. So now the axis is actually through this front panel, so you have to remove this lower front panel here to get at your pump. So before we go to do that, we're gonna remove the top. To remove the top, it's those two screws on the side. These side screws here. Here again, if you want to get to your electrical enclosures or your relay uh, main power cord, that's all on this side panel. But to remove the, the top, we have a lot of screws to do here. Now we can remove the top, so you're just going to lift the front first so that the, the back will slide forward. This one just so happens to have the added feature of a cup warmer that the customer wanted. So we'll disconnect that and our complete top will come off. Now we have access to safety valve, vacuum valve, our fill probe, uh, rebuilding our steam valves. So if we are going to have to do a pump adjustment, we will need to remove this lower front panel. So these, this is a tall. So one thing you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna loosen a thumb screw down below here, and you're just gonna pull that all the way out. And then you can go ahead and just take the thumb screw out so that it clears. So this thumb screw is preventing this from sliding all the way out. And then we will have two screws on the outside lower here. And we have some screws right there to remove. Now we can go ahead and remove this. It's also got 
the fill lamp right there that you're going to need to disconnect. And you'll want to power off the machine for this so that you don't have power to it. Just pull the lamp right out. And now we have access to our, our pump adjustment screw right here. So you would uh, loosen your this, this black nut and then adjust your screw accordingly. Of course, power back up the machine, have everything up and running and adjust as necessary. The other thing that you will want to remove is the bottom. That'll get you the uh, drain tray, I mean. That'll get you to your flow beaters, your, your circuit board, and your fill expansion valve um, assembly. So we'll take out our drain screw right here. And then these two Phillips that are off to the side on the drain tray, we just need to loosen them and move them to the side. And then lift the drain tray and slide to the front. And here we have access to all our components down below. Here's our, our, fill, our fill block with our uh, expansion valve. It's coming off, uh, there it is, right off the side here. There's the drain tube from the expansion valve going to the uh, drain cup. Our electronics board, which is nice. They put a clear top on it so that you can actually see uh, that you have power to the board when everything's starting up. And that is your disassembly.